Hello guys, Danielle here. Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a really exciting video. We are going to be unboxing, unboxing, embarking on a quest. We are going to be unboxing the Beacon Book Box Bookstagram box. Now this is actually extra special for me because Beacon Book Box actually reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to be a part of this box. So if you guys don't know, I actually do have a Bookstagram account. It is at YA Allegiance. Last year, I actually got to work with Beacon Book Box. I was one of their reps. I applied for a rep search of theirs. When they told me about this idea that they had for a Bookstagram box, I was all in. So because we know I like to talk a lot, let's just get into this box so we can start seeing what's inside. I'm so excited. So I think my favorite thing to note about this box is that this is not Beacon Book Box's typical subscription box. They had to go with a custom box because the items in here are so large it didn't fit in their standard box. I got this in the mail the other day and I was so tempted just to rip it open but I was like no I have to share it with people online. So the premise of this box is that it is supposed to be a plethora of bookish props that you can use in your photos. So the first item I see is actually these like petals. So this is what they look like. There's just an assortment of them in here, all kinds of different colors. Now personally, this is probably not something I would particularly use in photos that I can think of, but you never know when things come in handy. So that's what I love about props and collecting props because you can literally use anything as a prop and it can be perfect and amazing and wonderful so I'm really excited to just collect props and to have them there because again you never know a book could just appear and you are like wait this prop is perfect so the next item is this face mask okay listen I wish I had this back when I was first bookstagramming and I was taking pictures of A Court of Thorns and Roses like how perfect would this have been for like Lucian or somebody so this is what it looks like look how high quality and look at how detailed this is this is gorgeous I'm obsessed with this and I really love the color so the next item I see is another package of really fun bookish props and that is skeleton keys little known fact about baby Danielle and by baby Danielle I mean high school Danielle I was obsessed with skeleton keys I think it had to do with one of my favorite bands really obsessing over skeleton keys or they were always in their pictures or on their posters. I forget what it was. It might have been all time low. But either way, I was obsessed with skeleton keys to the point that my dad would actually go to garage sales and scour them for legitimate skeleton keys. And I would fasten them into necklaces and I wore them everywhere. I was so obsessed. I used them for decoration. It was ridiculous. And I haven't owned skeleton keys in a while. So I'm really excited about these. There's like this one. I, I think this one's my favorite. I don't know why, but it's this like broken one. It's so adorable. I already see the next item and I'm so excited about it. This is one of the major reasons I was freaking out about this box because this is a prop I've been looking for forever. I'm picking this up right now and it is the utmost quality. Like this is a hefty crown. This could fool someone. You could think that this is a real crown. This is stunning. <laughs> I love this so much. I should make this the thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> this is so fun. I wish that it would like fit on my head so that I could wear it in public, but this is still perfect for a prop. I wish you could feel how heavy this is. It's actually very heavy. It is so pretty. The next couple of items go hand in hand and they're so cute. It is acorns and pine cones and I bet they smell good. I'm gonna be weird. No, they don't smell like pine cones. <laughs> That's okay. And then a close-up version of the acorns and the pine cones. I really wish that I had the space to take photos with bookish props all the time, but the way that my lighting is, I can never actually get anything to be well lit when I take it at a bird's eye view. This next item I'm very excited about. This is so, it's so cute. It's a dagger, and I really like how nondescript it is. I feel like it could pretty much go with anything and I like that you can actually unsheathe it like that's so cool it's the perfect size that you could hold it with a book it's not very heavy which is nice but it looks super cool look at this isn't that just adorable it's got the skull I love this I absolutely love this I promise it's not sharp I think the crown and the dagger are gonna go so well together 
Huzzah! Oh my goodness! Look, we got some string lights! I've needed some string lights. I wonder how long they are. Okay, they're very, very bright. I was not expecting that. So this is what they look like. They're very tiny, which is perfect because you just need them to be big enough to go with a book and a picture. And I really like that the battery is flat so you can hide it underneath the pages or underneath the book and have no issue. Well, the next item is actually a pocket watch. And it's very, very high quality. Oh my god, this is stunning. I should be able to click it open, right? Is that how these work? So this is what it looks like. This is the back. Look how gorgeous this is. And this is what it looks like on the inside. I also really... Oh, nope. I also really love... I also really love how long the chain is. This might actually up my prop taking game. I've always wanted one of these. So it is actually a backdrop for your props. And this one looks like wooden boards, which I really love because it's so aesthetic. Honestly, like you could make this work with anything. I love that it's dark. I love the colors. I think it'll go with my bookshelf really well. And the detail on this is stunning. You can see the splintered wood. It is so pretty and there's like a nail. I've always wanted one of these, but again, it's one of those objects and items that I just have never really known where to get. And this is such a nice material. It's super thick and I'm excited to try this out. I'm going to probably try this out tomorrow when the sun comes back out because you guys probably didn't know, but it's like 10 o'clock at night. So <laughs> that's why the lights are very bright because there's no light. So the next item I'm so excited for it. I'm so excited to show my friend Chelsea who helped me collaborate on this. So Chelsea did the design and I organized it, but she is phenomenal. She's such an incredible artist. Every time I gave her direction or told her what my vision was, she made it come to life. I'm hoping that people who got the box are going to love it. I cannot wait for people to start using it. I can't wait for myself to start using it. It is a weekly post planner specifically geared towards bookstagram. It's not going to let me focus the shot. So hopefully past Danielle took the camera down after this and showed you an actual shot of what the planner looks like because it's so stunning. I am so proud of it. I cannot believe that something I helped work on is here. It's in the wild. Like it's a physical thing. I, I feel almost like as ridiculous as this sounds, it's like an author when they see their book Baby in the Wild. Of course, I didn't write an entire book, but it's just so cool to see something that you actually had a hand in exist. So the next thing in the box is another spiral bound and this one I'm really excited to see as well because all of the bookstagrammers who collaborated with Beacon Book Box on this box gave advice for how to grow on bookstagram, tips and tricks. Beacon Book Box compiled it into this gorgeous little spiral bound. Oh, there they are. Danielle's advice. Beacon Book Box, Bookstagram Box, Advice, Tips, and Tricks from YA Allegiance. I'm going to get real with you guys for a second. When I started Bookstagram, it was in 2016, and when I started Bookstagram, I didn't even know what Bookstagram was. I was posting pictures of books on my personal account, and friends and family were like, why are you posting pictures of books? I created a separate account because I wanted a safe place where I could gush and fangirl over all of my favorite characters and my favorite stories. I accidentally discovered Bookstagram, I think, from the hashtag books. I've been so humbled and so honored by all of the support that I've been given in the past couple of years, and I'm so grateful to all of the people that I've met on the platform, all the connections I've made, all of the friendships. I formed and I'm just so grateful and so honored that I got to be a part of something like this. I can't even begin to explain to you how much it means to me that people are so invested in what I'm doing. So if you're watching this video, thank you from the bottom of my heart for supporting me, for being there for me and for tagging along with me on this crazy journey. I'm done being sappy, I promise. We still have one more item in the box. I know what this is, they already talked about it, but I don't know what it looks like, so I'm very excited to see. What it is, is an actual letter board, and I've always wanted a letter board. This is really nice, I like that it's square, it's very small, it's not too heavy, which is really nice. You don't really have to worry about it being too bulky in a photo. You don't want it to cover your bookshelves, of course. I'm very excited to test this out. As I said, I've never had a letter board. I've never been able to find one that was affordable, that I liked. So I'm so excited about this. I love the color. I love the size of it. So that is it for my unboxing. I am so pleased with it. I think that Beacon Book Box did such an amazing job for having 
all kinds of versatile props that are super functional and super easy to use and will just amplify any photo that you put them in. I'm excited to continue to see the Bookstagram community grow. It's already grown substantially and I'm just excited to see where it goes. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. <laughs>